<laughs> yeah, we need to get this down on tape. Please. I mean, this is. This is like Illmatic if you weren't recording. <laughs> Come on. I mean, yeah, candy shop. Candy shop, lollipop, poker face. Like, there's all these, like, very explicit mm-hmm. sexual songs that soccer moms are playing for their kids as they drove them to middle school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And a mom's just driving their kids and they're listening to a song about, like, coming on a face. Mm hmm. It's great. Skeet so much they call me Billy Ocean, mm-hmm. which I never really got why why it's Billy Ocean. Yeah, I don't. Is that who's... just because it's a, it's a lot of calm, like it's an ocean of calm. It's just an ocean of calm. And who is Billy Ocean? He's the guy who I think Billy Ocean's the guy who said like saying like uh, get out of my dreams, okay, get into my car, okay, huh? So I don't know. Yeah, that was when everyone had to learn what Skeet Skeet meant. Skeet Skeet, motherfucker, lick it like a lollipop, lick the rapper. Mm-hmm. Everyone's doing the Soldier Boy crank that dance. I didn't know the Soldier Boy was about coming on a woman's back yeah. until five months ago. Superman that hoe. It's you throw a, a towel on her back. Come on her back and then throw a towel and she's got a cape. <laughs> and you're a little, you're a right. little uh, a seventh grade Korean kids dancing to it. <laughs> but not like you're cleaning the come off. You're just covering it up. Yeah, you cover it up. Like she like she died in battle. Testing yeah, you just, put, you, put, you just put a blanket over her. <laughs> She's she's gone. She's gone. She's gone. We've lost her. <laughs> Alexis Texas has fallen. <laughs> did you see that? Did you see that somebody tweeted uh, the Cracker Barrel has fallen uh, because they posted like a the pride flag thing or on whatever. Their site? Yeah, that's amazing. I mean, every company has at one point set a gay like promoted mm-hmm. a gay pride month. Yeah, yeah. It's just because Bud Light went like crazy, and now everyone. I know. I just love the sentence Cracker Barrel has fallen. The Cracker Barrel has fallen. Mm-hmm. That's like the fat seal team. <laughs> There's a fat seal team specifically. <laughs> they go Cracker Barrel is fine. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, gravy is no more. <laughs> damn, I don't have a damn. Seat. Look at you, Ben. What? You look great with the hat. So you look like you're about to have uh, your lemonade stand uh, hijacked by some black guys in the Upper West Side. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hold on, I got to take my hoodie off because I have to show off all of my U.S. Open merchandise that I okay. bought at the U.S. Open. Show us. Hope it's all made out of cotton, hundred <laughs> percent. Here we go. Yeah, Ben. Ben also got me this hat, uh, L.A. Country Club U.S. Open hat. So Ben got me a slave. <laughs> <laughs> There's a slave auction mm-hmm. at the gift shop. Right. And there... the... Rufus, get on in here. Right. <laughs> look at me. I mean, look on the back. It's pretty sick. Has a see. That is sick. Mm-hmm. Pretty cool, right? Hell yeah. Yeah. Their their yeah. biggest seller was a, a shirt. It had the Thirteenth Amendment and then the cross out <laughs> Ghostbusters sign. <laughs> That's their biggest seller there. Is my uh, fucking... Okay, there we go. My headphones are all jacked yeah, up. Yeah, Emma's... When I sit here and edit the sketches, Emma likes to... She finds that chord and then she's... She like, she's trying to hatch it like an, it's an egg or something. <laughs> She's I know like, I ca- she does that shit like she's a chicken sometimes. We come up, I come up here and I grab the mic off the ground, and, and me and Devin pick the the hairs off. I, it's yeah. like Gracie shoves it up her ass when we're gone. Mm. Yeah, they're Sibians for the dogs. The mics, <laughs> they love sitting on microphones. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yep. You've very got, good. You've got gay electronic dogs. Uh, by the way, do you guys like how I I've formed the brim very racistly on the hat? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's supposed to be a bucket hat. Like yeah, I've, I've told you when you when you flip it up like that, you look like a, a PI for racism. But flipping it up like this is I'm uh, I'm a, like I'm, flipping it up like this. You're about to be executed for raping somebody <laughs> because you're retarded. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're you're fucking Lenny from Mice and Men. <laughs> That's flipping it up like that. But then this. Yeah, that you're in a car and you're staking out 12, 12 year old black children. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. Doing I, yo-yo tricks and shit. <laughs> I go home, I cook Great Depression era meals mm-hmm. with saltine crackers and ketchup mm-hmm. and stuff you, together. Like, you, go really... home, you go home to your studio apartment, you're like a gumshoe, and you, you make hardtack in your kitchen. What's hardtack? It's the biscuit sailors ate in the 1800s. Because <laughs> it could last forever. It's literally flour and water and salt. <laughs> and you just make, you make like 20 pounds of that mm. at a time and you just put it in your closet. And then when you flip it up, do flip it up again? When you do that, yeah, that that makes it look like you're carrying a bunch of boiled eggs in it. (laughs) Home from the store. Yeah. No, I would never spend that amount of money at the grocery store. I go to the grocery store with a a couple nickels, some quarters. I come back with a big bag of yeast, Mm -hmm. salt. You make your own bread. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. right. When you flip it up all the way, you look like you have a Stanley thermos full of your own piss that you drink. It really is crazy how 
like just wearing your hat a specific way, you look like you have the worst opinions imaginable. You look like W.C. Fields. <laughs> like you look like you play who's on first with like everybody in your life. <laughs> right. Ben, he looks like he starts every conversation by going, huh? What now? What? Let me grab my gramophone to put in my ears so I can hear everyone. <laughs> I got to walk around the U.S. Open because other people had this hat, right? Sure. Cool black guys wear it just uh, bucket hat style. Yeah. They look really good. In School it. butt cues there and shit. Yeah. Those mm-hmm. types of guys, they look, their outfits, re- they, have, they look really good. Then I was seeing guys that were, I don't know, old, some old guys were wearing it like a bucket hat style. Some old guys were even wearing it all the way up, like skipper style, like I showed. Then, then I saw a six foot seven, 74 year old man. Mm. You know, when you see like a, a giant man who's in his mid 70s, yeah. Yeah. which it's, never happens. It's a, it's a rare sight. It's actually. very rare because they usually get shorter the older they get. Mm-hmm. Like their bones just kind of start. It's like Jenga, like pieces just <laughs> pieces just start so getting hit. A out. doctor just hits one of their vertebrae <laughs> out <laughs> like that. It. It's like, oh, here's your C7 <laughs> and just shoots out of your belly. <laughs> They need go, guys like that do need because the life expectancy drops with each inch after like six two six three. Yeah, we're, we're not going to live as long just statistically. Oh no, and and that's that's my plan as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. So, hmm. but I I saw a giant I saw a giant man wearing his hat like this. He was the only one at the U.S. Open wearing his hat in such a way. And I thought that's my guy right there. Right. Mm. That's there's my Cosmo. And then you guys both looked at each other. You go, hey, okay, <laughs> hey, okay, buddy, okay, but it's also white power. <laughs> hey, we know this doesn't mean okay. Seventeen seventy six, huh? huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I, I spotted a fellow patriot at the golf course. <laughs> <laughs> he, that guy needs. I feel like there's hate within that guy that's carried him to this point in his life mm-hmm. past. The point where God really wanted him to live, too. Yeah. There's like the inside of his body is like two guys shoveling inwards into a furnace. <laughs> and that's like what powers him. Like it's like the fucking Titanic. Uh, it's a slur powered engine. Mm-hmm. Exactly. The little engine that could. Yeah. There's two Scottish guys being like, we need more fucking slurs down here. <laughs> If you keep throwing slurs in there, she's going to fucking blow. <laughs> all right, fuck it. All right, fu- all right, shit. He just saw Scoop or Q at the US Open. He's so fucking pissed. <laughs> I, want all, I want all the reserve slurs in the fire right now. Yeah. God damn it. God damn we it. We told Tiger wasn't going to be here. <laughs> he had surgery. Yeah. What is he doing at this fucking US yeah. Open? He's going to fucking... Bloody blow. A guy so racist that when he figured out black people also play golf, it gave him a stroke. Just yeah. part of his brain just popped. How did they not assassinate Tiger Woods? I mean, he's every race that isn't white in one guy, and then he dominated the only thing. Yeah, they, they keep had. Yeah. They, the PGA tour. They keep trying to put him up at the Lorraine Motel. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I don't know, I'm on to you. Right. I think the only benefit is he talked like fucking Ralph Nader for the first ten years of his yeah, career. Yeah. Yeah. They he'd be like, Hello, how's it going, everybody? Yeah, he mm. sounds like a third party candidate. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's a green party. Green guy. party guy, yeah. So I guess all the white guys with their you know when really old white guys they start to get you know how Smeagol's eyes are in Lord of the Rings? Glaucoma? Yeah, they're all pale and uh, they mm. look like uh, cue balls. Yeah, fuzzy. They look like dead moons. Like Michael mm-hmm. Jordan's eyes. Yeah. Does he have that too? Michael Jordan just like sees everything in sepia. <laughs> <laughs> he Michael sees Jor- it in the Vince Gilligan Mexico filter. Michael yeah. Jordan's gro- I think it's even, I saw, yeah. I think that's a joke he's, on Twitter. He's, oh, it is. He's growing like Oakley's in his own eyeballs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like sunglasses. No, his liver's like legitimately shutting down. Yeah. 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 His liver shot. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sometimes I see uh, black guys with yellow eyes. Well, that's that's Michael that's Jordan. That's that. Yeah, I think that's jaundice, though. I jaundice. Think there's, uh, you drink too much and something happens to your liver. Uh, one time, or the lemon, the lemonade's just kind of rising to the top, and you could see mm. through. Pop, pop, fizz, fizz. <laughs> yeah, it's all the Mad Dog 2020. <laughs> <laughs> I only know this because you know how I used to do roofing jobs. I did like maybe seven roofing jobs. Do I? Yeah. Where you climb up on a roof and you have a big hammer and you just... You, you were a roofer? I mean, God, I mean... For what? I was... I mean, I was... Fisher also- Price homes? <laughs> <laughs> Look, they need... they People go through a lot of roofers. People don't know this, but if you were hired to be a roofer, your chances of falling off the roof, it's like 5%. Yeah, it's a, it's a pretty decent amount. Like, people just fall off roofs all the time and they die. Yeah. So you need guys to keep... 
you know, getting up there like lemons. Yeah, fresh, and, fresh meat. Fresh meat. Yeah. yeah. I fell off a roof. So, you know, it started raining and we're running. We're trying to get a tarp to pull it over the shingles because you don't have shingles on a roof. The rain just goes right through that son of a bitch. Was you this, know, was this back out in Texas or was this when you oh, were on yeah. that? Oh, OK, I thought this was when you were on that website where you would show up to somebody's house and like build like a chair for them. That's when I would do task rabbit task rabbit. Yeah. Right. I would show up and build a, a lady's like pregnancy chair while she sat in, on the couch and just stared at me. Just watched you mm. silently for two hours. Yeah. yeah. Your like job misery. Was, mm. Yeah. Your job was the beginning of pornos. <laughs> and, but then you just leave. Yeah. 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 Like, all right, ma'am. And then she puts her baby in and it just explodes. <laughs> it's a porno with no fun, no sex. You just actually build a dresser. Uh, mm-hmm. I helped an interracial couple move in Santa Monica once. And things were really weird hmm. between them. Were and- they filming a McDonald's commercial? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they were training their son to shoot three-pointers. <laughs> he showed up to a little three-point shooter's house. What, what type uh, of interracial couple are we talking about? I mean, the kind that there is. Chinese and Eskimo. Yeah, which one, though? <laughs> yeah. It's black it, guy, white lady. Oh, so, no, a lot of it's Asian now, Asian black. Mm-hmm. Sure, you, you but I don't... See, you will I, see some Asian black now. Asian black, yeah. yeah. Asian black is very cool. I love but. I love seeing an Asian black because it's like it's almost like seeing like an armadillo like dating like a like a donkey or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Just two complete opposites. It's very, very conflicted. Happens. Yeah, like, you know, like Keith. Keith Soul, our friend Keith, like uh, he's Blasian. Mm-hmm. His dad's black and his mom's Korean and I'm like he's very conflicted like he's always just been a weird conflicted guy you know he doesn't because he's like he's the guy robbing the liquor store and the person <laughs> killing him yeah yeah he's sticking yeah. himself up he's, yeah. his whole life is he's like am I a rooftop Korean or am I a target I don't know <laughs> which one I don't you know mm. he drives through Watts he's like who knows which side I would have been on mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, him in the race war, like if fucking ninety five, like like Larry David at the Palestinian chicken place. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Just torn between two sides. <laughs> anyway, what were you saying, Benjamin? Uh, what were we talking about? This nice interracial couple you destroyed. Interracial our lives. couple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So black guy, white lady, and then things were weird the whole time. And then I slowly pieced. I was like, why is everything like so tense and stuff? I'm like, I guess like, you know, they probably didn't want to hire. Like, they're like, oh, we need to hire like a real mover. And he's like, I'm going to use fucking Task Rabbit. And mm-hmm. she's like, yeah, but is it going to be like a real mover? Like, we should call a moving company. He's like, no, it's fine. Like, Task Rabbit's great. It's only like, you know, $22 an hour or whatever it was. Probably, yeah, yeah. I think it was lower. It's probably like 14 or something like that. And she's like, okay, okay. And then I, and then, I my Gumby ass shows up, mm-hmm. fucking like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, climbing, being up controlled the by a marionette, yeah. yeah. And I just walk in and I'm like, so you guys are on the second floor of this apartment complex, and they're like, yeah, this is us right here, and I'm like, oh, god damn it, <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm so hungover. You, yeah, they hired <laughs> you at the Fuck. you as the task rabbit is the guy who's not helping move, mm-hmm. but it's just like, all right, now angle it when you turn it. <laughs> You gotta you gotta go up and then down yeah. at the same time. I'm like, how about I just I stay down here so I can tell you guys how to take it mm-hmm. down the mm-hmm. stairs. You're, like, you're, you're, you're the guy with the middle of the couch pretending to. <laughs> yeah. Your hands not even yeah, touching. Yeah, yeah. You're just kind of pushing it with a finger. <laughs> that was the worst period of my life when pe- when I was at that age where I had to get jobs where people thought I was a man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I had like a job where I, I worked for like a temp agency and they yeah. would send me out to do warehouse gigs like in like fucking Carson. And I was working with all these like real men, and but we were just sent there because like a couple people got sick or whatever. So they like they put me on like the fucking forklift. I had no clue what to do. Jesus, I, I like I I broke a bunch of boxes. Those are hard to use if you don't. Yeah, know how it was to a use nightmare. Them. Some crazy guy just yelled at me to get on it. Like he knew that I could do it. When you it. look at him, it looks like you go. That's like a crane machine at, at an arcade thing. Mm-hmm. Like you go. I, I think I because it just looks like there's a big red ball on a stick. You go. How yeah, hard yeah. could it be? I thought it would just be easy like in the movies, but right. it was a nightmare, and I broke a bunch of shit. Yeah. And then, uh, nice. next thing you know, you're like driving a knife into some guy, like the back of some yeah, guy's head. Yeah, I'm just I'm mutilating people <laughs> by the end of the day. The worst part about that was everyone, the the boss always wants to just like start becoming your friend, like go to Wingstop every day after mm. work. Mm-hmm. It was really sad, brutal life. Mm-hmm. I hated pretending to be a man. I, I mm. In college, I worked in, I was like 19, I worked in a bolt and nut warehouse for the oil and gas industry. Mm-hmm. So it was, all, it was like these screws that were like this big that goes on, you know, some tanker that, you know, turns a guy into silly putty one day uh-huh. yeah. and I didn't know how to work the forklift and I, I just like lied and said that I could and they send me in the back warehouse they're like go get the uranium bolts or something because every box said this will give you cancer by the way and I, I didn't know how to use the forklift so I would climb up 
like the fucking steel risers, like 20 feet off the ground. I would just grab the box and like shimmy down mm-hmm. on the like I could have like totally just yeah, died. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And but you're just terrified. You're like, I don't know. This is the job market. Like I have to work. <laughs> like, mm-hmm. yeah, dude, I fucking I, I had so many weird little jobs. It, it, lo- it did kind of rock being a white guy that sucked. We mm-hmm. just show up to a place. And you're like, yeah, I'm the white guy that stinks. Because mm-hmm. I show I'm at a roofing job and there's like a little Mexican guy. And I'm like, I'm carrying up one pallet of shingle, like one big package of shingles. And I'm like, I think everyone should like start cheering for me when I make it up the ladder. Yeah. Like you're it's carry- some impossible. I climbed to Mount Everest type of feat. You're carrying one shingle. Yeah. Yeah. Up the and, ladder. and I would literally see guys carry like three things on like each shoulder, like shimming up and they're like half my size. Yeah. I'm like, I just suck. Yeah. There's, there's no, there's no excuses about Can- it. I, I have a low threshold for pain. Uh, I don't uh, challenge myself. I'm yeah. You you show up and you're like, hey, everybody, I'm a symbol for the decline of America. <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> yeah. Look at my bones. <laughs> but uh, when I helped that couple move, what was weird about it is I, how I kind of remember it is I realized because we were taking everything to a public storage unit. Mm-hmm. I kind of realized halfway through, I'm like, oh, they're getting divorced. Mm. But luckily, oh, right. but we were just taking everything to a public storage unit for the meantime, so I don't know what was really going on. But it would have been funny if they had two separate U-Hauls, one for her and one for the guy. And I just I walk in, I pick up a basketball, and I'm like, "So is this yours, ma'am, or yours, sir? I have no idea who this basketball <laughs> right. belongs to." She yeah. goes, "It's for the guy I actually <laughs> fuck." <laughs> <laughs> That would be funny. You loading a U-Haul full of like a dinette set <laughs> yeah. and like like kitchen chairs, uh-huh. and like the other one just has like a bong <laughs> and a, and a headband yeah, yeah. from the NBA store. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. an Xbox. Yeah, it's like four. Yeah, it's fourth. It's his other kid from his other I'm, relationship. I'm, a, I'm like, so this copy of uh, NBA 2K. This is, mm-hmm. ma'am, is this yours or sir? Will this be going right. with you? This envelope of unpaid child support bills. <laughs> So will this be going in the in the madam's car? Uh, or will this be going on, on the yeah. sir's bicycle bag that he has? You just have to act clueless the whole time. We give mm-hmm. no idea you know, mm-hmm. what's going on. And he, and he pulls you aside. He's like, he's like, listen, man, you can be racist. It's gonna, it's gonna, make it's the, gonna make the day go yeah. by. You gotta be efficient. <laughs> You gotta. He's like, I want you to turn the Woo! back of your hat up and the bo- and the front down, because we gotta we gotta scooch up the racism Woo! real quick. <laughs> yeah, that is pretty great. Oh, that rules. That that hat does remind me of a guy we used to play golf with. That old guy that's, Joe. That's why I started wearing it like this too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He was just like we we used to play golf. He rocks, dude. As kids, and there was just like old guys who like you know like they put. Like they would like walk up to you and they take out like a pack of red man and they just like they they'd rip a tooth out and like put the pe- the red man in the tooth <laughs> and just put like the pack. tooth in their pocket yeah, put it, and they go I'm just gonna save that for a rainy day <laughs> and they just be like nah, that's a, you're hitting too much of a hook you fucking boop you know just throw a slur he out. had a great he sang it to a white guy <laughs> yeah he had a great last name too i don't want to say it because he's he's yeah, don't say the name but the way he died was incredibly badass because very he, badass he was like 84 and he worked out constantly i always saw him uh in the basement in the locker room down there just like pumping weights and shit right he's one of those old guys where he's working he's working out with like five pound weights but mm-hmm. he's like you're like good at him and he's just eating like radishes and shit out of a bag mm-hmm. yeah and he had mm-hmm. long uh, long ass tube socks on these huge calves and then really short shorts and then like a hank schrader shirt tucked into like a like a muscle gut kind right, of thing. right right and then he'd wear caps like these or big trucker caps that he you know when old men barely set the hat on top of their head? Yeah. Because if they pull it on too tight, it'll crush their skull. It's just plopped. <laughs> yeah, it's just, it'll kill yeah. them like a, like a newborn baby. Right. <laughs> yeah, it'll like actually like deform their brain. Yeah. So he's wearing a hat that like the wind placed on top of his head. <laughs> and he was left-handed and he could just, he would go up there and he could still just crush drives and shit in his 80s. Got brain cancer. Never it was a guy who never smoked, never drank, took great care of himself, got brain cancer, even though he was still very healthy. And he went in the garage and shot himself with a gun. Yeah. Oh, man. To save man. everybody. Did his own tr- surgery. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he thought it was going to work. <laughs> he goes, I'm just going like, right, well, to pick this thing out of here. <laughs> 
Yeah. Yeah. Where, where, where is Where's it? the headache? Yeah. Where is that damn headache? He's, <laughs> Where's the headache? He's, he's holding a gun and an x-ray up to the line at the same time. He's like, all right, so it's reverse. Like, okay, I'll flip the gun around. <laughs> Up is down, left is right. Dude, what a fucking bad... Like, by the well, way, supposedly once he got the diagnosis and then found out it was terminal, he shot himself within like 24 hours of it. Yeah. He didn't even like it, think, on, think, I think on it. I think it was like four days later. It was four, the, three or four days. Because the, yeah. the funny thing was like, you, you know, he's like part of the church. So like the whole community is like, all right, well, Joe's got <laughs> cancer, so we got to get our prayer warriors like prayed up. Uh-huh. And they're like, "You're gonna fight this. You're gonna win this. We're all here for you." He's like, in the back of the day, he's like, "I'm fucking." Are you kidding are you me? Kidding me? <laughs> like you think I'm gonna? He's like win? I'm fucking happy about <laughs> yeah. this. Like, you think I'm gonna be all weak and gay? Fuck you guys! And they just went to his garage and just blew his. He brain was such out. a stoic, tough man. There was no way he was gonna let anybody see him be weak mm-hmm. and have right. that be the memory right. of him wasting right. away in a hospital. You bed. could tell yeah. there was probably the moment where he had the gun load. He's like, "All right, come on, all right, come on, don't be a pussy about it." <laughs> mm-hmm. Like he's shaming himself about his own suicide. <laughs> he's like, "Don't be a fucking bitch. Don't be a fucking <laughs> sissy about it." Now put that gun in your mouth. <laughs> How is that in the church? Was he is he going to hell to everybody? Yes, in the technically, church? In yeah. the, from the Church of Christ's point of view, you're going to hell if you take your own life. Right? Yeah. yeah, he's supposed to, you know, be. Uh, They're very like, strict it, about that. Yeah. yeah, he should have put everyone in uh, his family in massive amounts of medical debt. He should have like held up the healthcare system. He should have right. been in massive amount of pain. Should have let for them three pray. Should have let everyone feel really good about mm. themselves. Mm-hmm. Yeah, not it, sick for him. Yeah, well, yeah. he turns into Philadelphia slowly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. They're like, no, 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 Joe, you're you're supposed to shiver in a bed for three years <laughs> while you piss into a tube. No, Joe, it's okay. Oh, your brain, it's just coming out yeah. of his ears again. <laughs> we got to shove it back in in the Shove morning. his brain back in. One of the, dude, do you know about the guy who got murdered on a golf course and then no one could figure out how he got murdered for five years? Do you know this story? No. No. This is an amazing, dude, I'm going to see if you guys can figure this one out since you okay. don't know it. This oh, yeah, is, give us like the murder mystery version of it. This is beautiful, yeah. Okay. This dude, he lived on a golf course community. You have houses on each side of the fairway. You know, 400, about 400 people live on a golf course, I guess, roundabout. Sure. So he's in one of these small golf course communities. They find him on like the 17th fairway by his home, shot through the chest. Okay. They don't find a gun. They can't find anybody. And it happened sometime in the morning. Someone found him. For a very long time, they couldn't find anything that happened. They, they couldn't figure anything out. And then Hillary Clinton <laughs> came to town. <laughs> the detectives uh, investigating it started looking into his Google search history, actually, because he made some weird purchases before he got murdered. He bought the vaccine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they found that he was doing a lot of research about like uh, uh, wind currents and weather and stuff. Yeah. And then he actually bought a weather balloon hmm. around this time. Okay. Okay. And he had like a, a tank in his house. I think they found for him to blow it up. Oh, I think I keep going. I think I have this solved. So, and then eventually what they figured out. Can I wait? Are you about to say what happened? You say it. You say it. Okay. Because I haven't heard this. I think I have it figured out. Guy wanted to kill himself. Yep. Wanted his family to get the insurance money, tied a gun to a weather balloon, shot himself in the chest, and then the gun just floated away. They found the gun like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of miles away tied to a a popped uh, balloon. Like it happened like uh, in Canada. They found it really far away How somewhere. How the fuck do these find, they find these? Yeah. Let him get the money. He did it well. I know. It worked. Also, like, like, it's better if it's a murder. Right. It's better if it's well, a murder. Like, he wants the people to feel bad for him forever. Yeah. He was a poor, innocent victim. Right. Who could have done this right. to this poor if man? They, Don't if make he, it a To suicide. be fair, if he wanted to go away with it, like, go to the inner city and do the exact same thing. <laughs> yeah. And they would have been like, no investigation. <laughs> yeah. we're, we're like, They're like, who's the nearest black person? You're going to jail. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, they arrest Obama. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what, what, what? He wasn't so dying he, or anything, was he? Like he no, just did this he to did, get he his He wanted family. to kill himself, but he didn't want people to know that he's he a was suicidal. Or whatever. And also, I guess it was the insurance money too, which I didn't know that detail of. It. I, that's but why that I assumed sense. insurance money. But yeah, he went out. He tied a weather balloon to a like a revolver, and then went and shot himself in the chest, mm. like right through the heart, and then it floated away. 
Right. Hmm. Pretty incredible, right? Yeah. And then that rev- revolver shot a bunch of black kids. <laughs> I have this theory that guns want to shoot black people. Like yeah. That's kind of how they work. They're like magical. It sounds like the it's golf- just a guy stretching like this, like yawning, like and yeah. the gun just falls and lands in his hand. Yeah. And he cops like fucking freeze. <laughs> just starts firing into him. Right. Like yeah. outside the mall. Yeah, like Sonny Corleone. Yeah, turn him into fucking cheese. <laughs> I told, I told our black friend once to do a joke about how, as a black guy, like, even if he went skydiving, like, as he's falling in the air, the cops are, like, shooting him <laughs> from mm-hmm. the ground. They're like, what the fuck is Right. That? Yeah, he's like, oh, shit, they're coming from space. <laughs> <laughs> they're invading. Right. Yeah, get the get the president on the line. He just stole Donald the cloud. Donald Trump. <laughs> he stole a cloud. <laughs> they're trying to steal stars and make them into jewelry. Uh, See what they do is they take these stars to the to the diamond district and they sell the platinum. Right. They're putting the moon up on cinder blocks. We've got to shoot them down. Sorry, I had to fire at him, sir. He had a backpack on. You saw him. He had a fucking back. Those little ones had backpacks. I had to shoot him, your officer. He was black. <laughs> well, I think I've seen enough here. Yeah, I think the case is missed. <laughs> <laughs> there, there was a kid I remember reading about kind of kind of a similar thing. It was like this little like genius kid who wanted to kill himself. He was like 17. And what he did was he took a bicycle helmet and he drilled like an old timey, you know, solid. Like, I think it was a football helmet, actually. And he drilled nine holes in it and put shotgun shells in each one of the holes and like rubber cemented it in, tied a nail and like an electrical wire to the tip of every shotgun shell. And then took the other end of the wire, went into his garage, touched a car battery with that, and it basically just at once nine bullets into his fucking brain. Oh my god! Yeah, did what it work? Weird, like, nah, he's actually <laughs> lived a long, healthy life. <laughs> yeah, and that guy became our father. <laughs> <laughs> what no. a bizarrely like that's a lot of work to mm-hmm. put into your suicide like what is he trying to win like the science fair of death <laughs> it would be funny if they gave him like a Nobel Prize for how he killed himself yeah for being really fucking cool mm-hmm. yeah that's crazy well that was I, I read the like the account of the like the police officer who found him and they're like oh this like this kid was a genius it's a shame that you right know, right he fucking that he did it to himself yeah, yeah. exactly we could have used this on we, a black guy yeah we could <laughs> could have sent this guy to Guantanamo. The police show up like, what the fuck? We wanted to hire him. Yeah. Well, we're definitely stealing this design. I think I would have, if I was going to kill myself and I didn't want anyone to know I killed myself, I think I would just like eat a bunch of hot dogs really fast Mm. and I would just choke. That would not, that would not be a bad way. You get like really dry hot dog bread and Mm. like old shitty hot dogs and you just keep eating them really fast. And like for months, you keep talking about how you want to train to become like a great hot dog eating champion. Like you're inspired by Kobayashi. When people come over, they stop coming over because every time they do, you're just playing like Kobayashi's like compilations of him like eating the most hot dogs in the world. Sure. Yeah. So like you build up this whole narrative that you're getting into it. So when your friends find out that you like choked on a bunch of hot dogs and died. They go, he was in, that makes sense. They got tracks. He Mm -hmm. was getting into that. He used to, he got into birding, then he got into. The only guy in human history who dies with too many hot dogs in his mouth and everyone in his life is like, yeah, it makes sense. (laughs) He kind of had it coming. We all saw it. They're like, we we warned him for years. (laughs) (laughs) We knew it was going to happen. I feel like it'd be fun. Like you could do like uh, go to like a Florida bar with just like a crop top that says like "Come Guzzler" on it, and just be like very effeminate and gay and just you know uh, yeah just get, get Matthew like, Shepard yeah get Laramie Did. Project just see what happens yeah yeah just walk up to a guy you know who looks like Bubba Sparks or something and just be like you you who boys <laughs> <laughs> and then just get like ballad of Buster Scruggs <laughs> yeah this is through your brain. Yeah. Or you could just go up to a cop and be like, watch out. <laughs> just do like a Johnny Bravo, like, look out, man. Mm-hmm. Watch out. Suicide by cop is probably the best way to make it seem like you oh, didn't. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. like it's all their fault. Your family could maybe sue. Uh-huh. They get a fun lawsuit. Right. Right oh, they'll it. get a check for at least like $20,000. Oh, yeah. yeah. From yes. the city. Oh, yeah. yeah. So I, how I'd try to kill myself, I'd take a bunch of drugs and go to a gas station Try to spend a counterfeit twenty. Oh, if you know, if you know what I'm talking Ooh. about. If you know what I'm talking about, folks. Ooh, wait, which one is Get this? a little spicy? Oh, the big one. 
Yeah, uh, uh, we're talking about the 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 Oppenheimer. Yeah, the Oppenheimer of black people. Can't Is this kill. Michael Brown? <laughs> no, Mr. Mr. George no, Floyd. Every, no, one oh, cares about. That was what George Floyd did. I yeah, forgot. Yeah. No I forgot one... his origin story. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, like it's X Men. I honestly for completely forgot <laughs> yeah. that X Men Origins. Derek Chauvin. I thought he was just killed because Derek Chauvin was like they worked with each other and he was fucking his girl or something. I think it mm. was ultimately that, but they were they were, the later they were like, you see the tapes. He's weird at the gas station. Oh, right. you know? There's always weird gas station tape mm -hmm. that they always use. It's like, no, you don't, don't understand. Like those Skittles meant business. <laughs> They are going to come out with like a Justice League type movie, by the way, of all the black people who are killed by the police where they CGI their faces on everybody. Where you have like uh, Tamir Rice, like mm -hmm. Michael Brown. And they have... very unfortunately name it The Expendables. <laughs> <laughs> There's a huge controversy. Everyone's like, who the fuck thought that was a good idea? <laughs> well, we were down between that or Blacker Panthers. Yeah. <laughs> We couldn't just we couldn't decide right. which we were going to go two black two panther. <laughs> we weren't sure, and frankly, our studio execs Michael Jewishberg thought that was a great idea. <laughs> yeah, mm. even the director the, the of Injustice League more like yeah, it. More, more like, like it. in. <laughs> Here, let me let me get let me get Bill Maher on the phone right now. <laughs> Bill, it's like Back to the Future. Yeah. I'm like, you know that shitty joke you were looking for? <laughs> well, listen to this. It's yeah. me, your brother, Marvin Marr. Uh, <laughs> Marvin Marr. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, uh, that's, yeah. Very, that's very club random of but, you. But they would end up teaming club up random. to defeat. Because who's the guy with the, uh, the gauntlet of something that people go... Lil John. They go, oh, that's... <laughs> Yeah. Where they go, oh, that's the gauntlet. Like he has all the stones in the gauntlet. Oh, Thanos. Thanos. Is that is that Thanos? Yeah. Thanos. He got the Infinity Stones. <laughs> <laughs> so Thanos is the bad guy. Yeah, I think he's like yeah the bad. I don't. Know. I've never seen any of those video game movies, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think yeah he, those movies for babies. Yeah, movies for, for, for brain dead adults. But yeah, he has a, a handful of rings, and they mm. wanted the infinity or something. Infinity yeah, stone. He, he got all the skittles. Yeah, they're like, yo, did you guys see a new meme came out? <laughs> People just go to the movies and be like, which meme are we gonna use? Yeah, which frame are we gonna use to do our ha ha memes? <laughs> Yo, this will be great for Jason Tatum's career. I'm going to use this when I make fun of basketball players on Twitter. Yeah. <laughs> I run an Instagram page called Ha Ha Funny Ass Dank Ass Black Ass Memes for retards. <laughs> for retards. <laughs> but the four is, is the number four. Uh, so I, I go to I go to Spider-Man. I go, yeah, which, which screen grab am I going to mm. use to make fun of like, you know, when a celebrity dies? Yeah, Ferber. Yeah. For Fer retards by retards. <laughs> <laughs> Anthony Kimia sues me. He's like, I was coming out with that line. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's right. Uh, they did but, that in the new super in the Flash movie. They uh, they had a Christopher Reeves popped back up. Really? Yeah, the old Superman who got uh, paralyzed. Yeah, yeah. I'm like he's a dead right. He's been yeah. long. Dead. What was more offensive? He's played is by an eggplant. <laughs> 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 I was gonna say what was really offensive is they had him in the wheelchair in the movie. Did they really? And he just Are you pops, doing a joke? He pops up and he goes, kill me, please. <laughs> he goes, please not, kill me. <laughs> <laughs> no, but he really does. They have his Superman appear in the movie. Huh. With his, like, you know, the digital, the technology that's ruined all media. The we can make dead guys in movies again. Yeah. that's Yeah. It's going to suck when they just start doing that. Mm -hmm. It's going to suck even harder than what they're doing now. Hello, friends. And welcome to a tradition unlike any other. This episode is sponsored by Blue Chew. Let's talk about sex. Guys, remember the days when you were always ready to go? Now you can increase your performance and get that extra confidence in bed. Listen up. BlueChew.com Blue Chew is unique online service. By the way, they're not here right now. It's just me. I can do whatever I want. The dog's off the leash and he's roaming all over the yard. Who knows who I may bark at? No one's home. Blue Chew is a unique online service that delivers the same active ingredients as Viagra, Cialis, and Levitra, but in chewable tablets and at a fraction of the cost. 
You can take them any time, day or night, so you can plan ahead or be ready whenever an opportunity arises. The process is simple. Sign up at BlueChew.com, consult with one of their licensed medical providers, and once you're approved, you'll receive your prescription within days. The best part, it's all done online. So no visits to the doctor's office, no awkward conversations, and no waiting in line at the pharmacy. Blue Chew's tablets are made in the USA and prepared and shipped direct to your door in a discreet package. Uh, yeah, it works. I can vouch for Jace and Devin here, uh, who need Blue Chew and use it on the regular. They claim it works. I've yet to ask. There's SOs. There's significant others. Blue Chew wants to help you have better sex. Discover your options at BlueChew.com. Chew it and do it. And we've got a special deal for our listeners. Try Blue Chew free when you use our promo code LEMON at checkout. Just pay $5 shipping. That's BlueChew.com, promo code LEMON, to receive your first month free. Visit BlueChew.com for more details and important safety information. And we thank Blue Chew for sponsoring this podcast. And again, I want to stress here, both of them use it for uh, sex with their partners and uh, uh, glory holes, random hookups on the internet, things they've confided in me. I would never, uh, you know, tell another soul on this earth. Hey, everybody. Wanted to take a second to talk to you about Magic Mind. Uh, Magic Mind is a matcha-based energy shot infused with nootropics and adaptogens designed to crush procrastination, brain fog, and fatigue. Um, You'll get a lot of energy like (laughs) that is currently right there. Um, And Magic Mind did send us a lot of stuff. I think they sent us over 50 shots. Yeah. Um, I took it. I love it. It feels great because it boosts L-theanine. Um, which reduces stress and anxiety. So it's like that thing of like you can drink it and you don't feel like you get that jittery coffee feeling. Yes, exactly. That we all, hey, you know, I Mm -hmm. drink a coffee, I put a Zen in, all of a sudden I'm having a panic attack. We talked about that the other day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Take one of these little Magic Mind matches. I feel great and I feel relaxed. They're incredible. You don't have to go get some fucking $7 matcha at some hipster place down the street. You can get your Magic Mind. I had, I I took a box of them. I had like 30 of them. Mm -hmm. I took one every morning for like a few weeks. Yeah. I did. You do feel like they, amazing. They sent us a couple boxes. I took them, and then my girlfriend loved them so much that I literally, and this is this is completely true. I she's other side of the country. I put twenty of them in my suitcase to take to her across. Mm-hmm. The, I literally put them on a plane, flew across the country because she loves them so much, and uh, she's been enjoying them for the past couple weeks. Yeah, and it's just it's matcha quick. It's a matcha on the go. That's right. And uh, yeah, you feel like a steady, like an ease of calm yet energy the whole day. Right. Honestly. You know, I've, I've tried to make matcha on my own. I just can't fucking it's like, do what you, it. No, you're not Japanese. You gotta you buy gotta the buy little magic fucking, bind. Yeah. yeah, you gotta buy like a little wooden rake, you know, like yeah, a little exactly. stupid bowl. You gotta get a garden and everything. Yeah, yeah. I, I put them in my boba in the morning. I go to the boba shop and I drop one in. You can put them in the boba if you want to. That's sick, man. Um, so right now... Um, no, you, no, you just keep quiet for the rest yeah, of the Yeah, you keep quiet. You don't no, ruin you this shut for your us. Fucking you shut your mouth. You gotta ruin this fucking could add. Um, <laughs> so uh, right now, Magic Mind has a special offer for our listeners. Um, go to magicmind.com. I'm sorry I told you to shut up. Go to magicmind.com slash lemon and get up to 50% off your subscription for the next 10 days with my code lemon. Once again, let's go to magicmind.com slash lemon and get up to 50% off your subscription for the next 10 days with my code lemon. Thank you, Magic Mind, for sponsoring the show. And uh, back to the episode. Eventually, we're just going to have to stop going to movies. Yeah, I mean, I, I haven't gone to a movie in a long time. You have, yeah. used to go to movies all the fucking time. The, what am I supposed to go see? Me and Jace go to the movies uh, pretty frequently. Yeah, I'm, I'm a fan of the cinema, so I go see Across got, the Spider-Verse. I'm going to start going, but it's like just every... I saw fucking Paul Schrader's fucking st- gardening movie with <laughs> yeah. white supremacy involved. Gar- Garden just, State. Garden, Woo! yeah. <laughs> Garden State 2. <laughs> fucking, yeah, Dandelion Nazi <laughs> by Paul Schrader. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. Unless it's like something like that. It has to be a director I care about now. Otherwise, I'm like, I don't I don't know. They all seem like, you know, fake movies. Uh, me and Jay, I mean, come on, you got... Uh, I saw me, Air. No, I saw Air. Air was, gr- Air was the best thing I've ever seen. Air was good. Yeah. No, mm-hmm. it was the greatest thing you've ever seen, <laughs> let's be honest. Ever. ever. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and Devin 
How good was Knock at the Cabin? I mean, you got to give it up for Shyamalan. He did it again, goddammit. God, that- God damn it, he did it again. <laughs> <laughs> That's, me and Ben go to movies where we talk like Burt Lancaster. <laughs> I go, God, I go, God damn it, I love the cinema. I was hitting myself with a newspaper on the on the hip. What was Doc at the camp? Wasn't that the movie where like WrestleMania shows up and kills a family in a <laughs> yeah, home or yeah, something? That's right. It's Dave Batista. Yeah, okay. who rocks, by the way. And Dave Batista is my hero because to protest racism, he had a tattoo of a racist guy on his body. And then once the guy became racist, he got it removed. No, it's like he had a he had a he so. was tight with Manny Pacquiao. <laughs> <laughs> Did the hat get you? Just you- something about you mm-hmm. had nothing to do with what you said. Mm-hmm. Just all you. You say sometimes you say lines on this podcast where you should like be throwing a fishing line. <laughs> You're like you got it removed. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but no, I, uh, but no, in all seriousness, I love racism. I do say things that you should only say if you're drinking beer at like 6.30 in the morning on a fishing trip. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That I lean over and I just say it nonchalantly. Right. You, yeah, say you say things like I'm cracking an egg into his beer. <laughs> you, say, you say that and I go, your cigarette's in your thigh right now. <laughs> go, Ben, you're burning your thigh with your cigarette. Yeah. By the way, Dave Bautista is the only guy in the world that is an actor who cares about acting still. Pretty much. He's, he actually takes acting classes. He takes acting very seriously. Yeah. He, he's like the only good wrestler actor. Like he actually wants- Yeah, I've heard he tries and cares and shit. Yeah. He's way which better a, than Chris Pine and all these people. Which is really- supposedly great. If you try yeah. and care, it makes you like fucking God now. You know? Yeah, that's all you have to do is try a little bit. Mm-hmm. I just want to hear yeah. that a guy You're gives a shit everybody. and likes cinema. Yeah. Like, if you know Jim Caviezel's name, not Jim Caviezel. Jim Caviezel, (laughs) The guy who did five Oscar movies and then died of cancer. Oh, uh, uh, oh, no. Uh, uh, John Cazale. John Cazale. Yeah, John Cazale. Yeah, what just fucking just uh, (laughs) the Michael Jordan of character actors. Truly. And then just died. Did five Oscar winning movies, fucked Meryl Streep, and then died. Dog Day Afternoon. Uh, Dog Day Afternoon. Godfathers. Uh, Which is the sequel to Godfather. Yeah. One, two, <laughs> Dog they're, they're Day Afternoon. They're a new one called Godfathers with a Z. <laughs> Dog Day Afternoon. Hey, was he in Deer Hunter? He was in Deer Hunter. And that Deer was Hunter. the other nice. one. Yeah. 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 And then he ate Meryl Streep's pussy and, and died and of brain she, cancer. And then she killed him, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> nice. She killed him. R.I.P. to that guy. But they, I, what was the thing about Dave Bautista? Because he did so something he had, very woke and very he cool. Was, he was tight with Manny Pacquiao mm-hmm. because I think they're both Filipino. One of those things. I don't know. Sure. Um, one of those brown eyes. They islands. both love Jollibee. Yeah, exactly. So they met up. They shook hands. <laughs> yeah, one of those. Nice to meet you. Spaghetti and honey. <laughs> 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 Spaghetti and honey. Spaghetti and honey. <laughs> yes, we all eat like Elf from the movie Elf. Um, and he he had a tattoo of uh, Manny Pacquiao's like logo, and then Manny Pacquiao was like, "I don't like the gay the fags. I don't like it." <laughs> and Dave Bautista was raised by two. He has two moms. Oh, his, okay. his parents were lesbians, so he got the tattoo surgery. By the way, here's what's great because Manny Pacquiao is Filipino, right? I think so. Oh, I don't yeah, know. yeah, yeah. Here's what's great. Jason's impression of a Filipino person is Super Mario. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I am, I'm from the Philippines. I'm from the Philippines. Yeah. If you go, he's doing a Japanese yeah. guy's idea of an I can Italian American. I could do three. I could do. The, I could do the Japanese like. Oh, da, 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 da. Uh, I could do the Chinese like, oh, da, da, mm-hmm. like that. Yeah. And then if you're from like kind of a banana Asian island type thing, it's just like. Oh, da, 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 da. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Like Gullah Gullah Island stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. If you're on an island where I imagine you you ride a big plantain around like a canoe, <laughs> you're. Doo, 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 doo. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. That's how you talk. I get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get that. That's, that's just how my race. That's actually works. fair. No, that's actually fine. No one cares about that. It's no. totally fine. Yeah, and I think they're actually like more Hispanic. Filipinos than... are like yeah, they're like Mexican Asians basically. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they're like Viva La, like they do like Day of the Dead. They're all named like Bilal Hernandez, and you're like, what the what? Mm -hmm. (laughs) Pick one. Yeah, pick pick a (laughs) Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. You know, you're weird in this app. It's like Brazilians (laughs) speak Spanish, Brazil. Uh, yeah. yeah, they all they all speak weird, different versions of Spanish too, and I don't like that. I don't like that. Mm-mm. I don't like that. In Brazil, it's like you think you're just gonna speak Spanish, and they're like, no, we're Portuguese. Oh, obrigado. 
You're like, isn't that Spanish? Apparently not. It's not. Apparently, apparently it's Salvadorian. God, these people. Yeah, these people. Which Salvadorian? Don't give me, I, don't give me these words. These words. <laughs> and the guy goes, he says he's Salvadorian. I'm like, that's an Italian guy's name. <laughs> Doesn't he work for Tony Soprano? Yeah, that's Salvadorian. El Salvadorian? <laughs> Doesn't he live in North Jersey? Uh, yeah. But here's the thing. Here's a cultural uh, thing for you guys. Because if you didn't know, we're actually, we're pretending to not be cultured. If you didn't know. We yeah. actually, we've tra- we're world we're travelers. We're world travelers. Yeah. We're world travelers. Mm-hmm. We have so many points on Southwest, which is an international uh is very fun. I named a I named a plane that doesn't take you. Yeah, you, named, you, named a, you named a plane. You named a plane that flies to Texas and Cleveland. Yeah. That famously flies to three states. Yeah. Uh, like a Latanza we, flight. Or? Oh, well, I was gonna say, in China, here's what they do in China. 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 <laughs> Dude, did you see, did you see Trump? That? Yeah. You see <laughs> Dude, what did he say again? It was so good. Dude, it was I so did good everything the way... right, and they still indicted me. They still indicted me. <laughs> me. Yeah, he's starting to sound like Carol Channing almost. <laughs> he's like, they still indicted me. <laughs> he's really leaning into it. It's very funny. It, oh, sa- it sounds he... like he's doing Shane Gillis's trumpet. I, yeah, yeah. You yeah. know he saw it. He oh, was yeah. like, oh, I'll just do that. Yeah, he's like, it's better. Mm-hmm. They, I love they it. They indicted me. Did he really call Ron, Ron DeSantis Ron the faggot? Or is that no. like a, is that a Photoshop thing? Uh, that would be great. He did from Truth Social. He's like, little Ron the faggot. Is no. that it again? No, no. I, no. I was like half an I was like, I'm pretty sure that's fake, but I'm just going to let myself think it's real. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. He's saying it after he tweets. Yeah. He's like, little, little inward Ron. <laughs> Classic inward Ron. No, he calls him. He was trying to make. He was trying to do Ron to Sanctimonious, which is pretty funny. Mm-hmm. I think that was too long, so he started calling him Meatball Ron. <laughs> he goes. He goes. Meatball Ron. He's five seven. He did. He did put that on True Social. He goes. Meatball Ron is five foot He's seven. Five foot seven. <laughs> In, end of tweet. End of tweet. <laughs> Posted. His tweets really are things you'd only read on a bathroom wall. Like yeah, on he, a stall while yeah, you're taking he, a shit, you look over. Dude, he's like it written by a crazy. He's person. like Georgina George from Mean Girls. <laughs> he has a burn book. Yeah, he has a burn book. And everything's yeah. wrong, too. Yeah. He's like, he's like, Ron DeSantis is a fat hipped bitch. <laughs> and it rules. So I was gonna say in China. In China. In China. They all have speak a different dialect. So one guy. I like how you kind of got Asian. They all speak a different <laughs> dialect. <laughs> they all they all speak a. Speak a. Speak a. Different, dialect. Different. Dialect. Different. Mm-hmm. Dialect. Salvadorian. <laughs> <laughs> we're just complete yeah. retards. <laughs> we should all be shot yeah, and killed. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, we're very dumb and gay. <laughs> Yeah, but uh, they all speak different dialects. There's like 900 different dialects spoken there, and we use the word dialect here, where we go, "Oh, that guy sounds Cajun. That guy sounds like he's from New York." Dialect, <clears throat> actually, we, we use that incorrectly, really. So over there, they actually one guy in one city can't understand people in another city. So what they had to do to unify as a country, they all learned to speak Mandarin. So they all, a lot of them, speak the uh, language of their city of the 900 something specific dialects but they also learn to speak mandarin and the first alphabet by the way that they learn is uh english you got because it's an easier alphabet to understand right. language you, you goddamn like, right you fucking do. right brother mm-hmm. we're the best fucking best fucking country uh, by the way no one's ever been able to explain this to me you know there's like a 900 characters in mandarin or something crazy that you have to know sure what the fuck do their keyboards look like Oh, that's I mean, a good point. Does it look like the guy in big when he's playing the piano? Shit. Like he's just you have to run to to type. Yeah, what are the keyboards? Look I, dude, like? I don't know. Like I've never been able to figure. I've typed in Chinese keyboard. I don't get it because they have like nine hundred letters. So yeah. like, how are they typing? It, does, it makes no sense. Are their typewriters as big as like uh, Parks? W- w- what is it? I, I don't how, know. How do their phones? How do they type on their phones? I, listen, you're asking it's the wrong driving guy. me nuts. Yeah, None of these people exist to me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's how yeah. ignorant I am. I go, I know China's there, but like I just read right. about it. it to I don't... you, it, it might as well be like Game of Thrones. Exactly it's the you're same like, thing. You're like ah, uh, Westeros, yeah. Thailand. People are like, you what's going on in China? I'm like, what's that? The jo- new George R. R. Martin <laughs> thing? <laughs> what is the Mother of Dragons doing now? <laughs> the Mother of Dragons. Yeah, I honestly have. No, I mean, literally, like I'm, I'm so ignorant. I in my there's fifty thousand characters in Mandarin. Can I? T- can fifty thousand, and then they don't even. Then other Chinese people speak another one, right? 
Taiwanese? Well, Taiwan and China, China doesn't recognize Taiwan. Yeah, but that's existing. bullshit. They're all Chinese. Yeah. <laughs> they just speak a different. They're just like they just have. They just decided to make a new thing, right? Mm. I I was gonna say I'm so like racist and ignorant that you were like, how do they like type like what their keyboards look like? And I literally imagined somebody taking a typewriter. And putting a big squid in it, and then just typing on the squid, <laughs> like it's a like it's a piece of paper. Yeah, because the squid has the ink in it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and they just hit it with like little metal marks. Uh, this says the written China. Uh, this is from Business Insider. It said we researched how Chinese keyboards work, and it's totally nuts. The written Chinese language will blow your mind. Each character is made up of an intricate what? series of strokes, sometimes as many as sixty-four. Yeah. Well, also, what is Business in Insider saying? It's totally nuts, by the way. Yeah. What? It's wacky. Yeah. We we interviewed uh, Bloomberg, and it was it was neck and futs. <laughs> <laughs> You're a fucking business trading magazine type like it. Sorry. What did the What did they say? How does it work? Uh, is so it like those? Now Nava? they're linking me to a Slate article. So apparently they did nothing. Mm. I like how articles link you to other. They go, we didn't really finish our job here, so go to this other website <laughs> for the info. Yeah, it's the articles like, how do they use their typewriters? And they're like, that's a good question. We may never know. <laughs> End of article. Here's a Wikipedia link. Oh, so they don't use a standard keyboard. They, uh, they use a standard keyboard to generate a wide variety of Chinese characters. Using this method, characters aren't directly hardwired to each key. Instead, a short combination of keys will generate a specific character. Mm. So it's like the old texting where you had to hit three, you know, four times yeah, to yeah, get yeah. like a, a, an L or whatever. Right. Yes. Yeah, so, and then each user kind of changes their keyboard based on that. But good Lord. I mean, Chinese people are so smart, dude. I mean, can, I don't I can't name 50,000 things. If you put me in a room for five years and said name 50,000 things, clouds, air, oxygen, mountains, I'd run out after like 9,000. Mm -hmm. I'd be like, I'm out of that. I named every Lord mm -hmm. of the Rings movie. I named every character from everything I know. Every yeah. I'm iron, magnesium, every supplement. Yeah. But at the every end of the shoe day, company, I'm out. I'm, I'm done. But at the end of the day, you still wouldn't start COVID-19. That's true. <laughs> that is true. Okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How about we stop ball washing them? <laughs> <laughs> how about we? How about we get down to brass? Let me get down to brass tax here. All okay. right. We'll be at war with them soon. Stop loving them. <laughs> Okay. Get all prepared right. to that stab report, them in the face. That report did just finally come out, like an official. Yeah, it's official. Yeah. The the Chinese they're like, guys in the like, Wuhan yeah, lab like, got COVID. They're first. like breaking news: COVID nineteen came from the COVID nineteen lab. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, yeah. People are like, what the hell? Oh, <laughs> what kind? What kind yeah. of racist? What kind of yellow journalism is this? <laughs> I guess I owe John Stewart an apology. <laughs> they say, honey, they're saying COVID nineteen came from the lab where they created COVID nineteen. <laughs> you believe that? Can you believe that? I think that's some racist you know, shit. It's fucking nuts. Oh god, I'm fucking. You telling me my shoes are from Foot Locker? <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah. They made COVID nineteen in the COVID nineteen lab? It's a, it's a goddamn disgrace. <laughs> what they're doing? Uh, honestly, this what is, is do, it. This, uh, you tell me now for the first right. time. I mean, it was, it was the, it was the funniest thing. Like you'd just be like, hey, maybe it came from the COVID nineteen lab, and they'd be like. They're great people. They've killed a million Muslims. <laughs> you shut your goddamn mouth. Shut your fucking mouth. You shut your fucking mouth. They're not even the real Muslims. They have a weird mm. name called like Uyghur. Right. Whatever. They're Uyghur they a, Muslims. They have a name I feel uncomfortable yeah. saying. They're killing Uyghurs. <laughs> I heard that's that would good, be great the if, the, if the camps were just like fucking <laughs> Chad Hanks. Wigger Muslims, yeah, it's just <laughs> <laughs> like what up? We in Beijing in the big time. Pukikasha. <laughs> just getting hit with a big mallet. Yeah, <laughs> starving to death. My leftist friends explained to me that th what they did to the Uyghurs is good. Wow. And I don't know. I it sounds they make a really good argument for them. What is their argument? They say like the the Uyghurs don't want to like uh assimilate with society and be good. So what they do is they kind of just round them up and they make them like stay in a place and it like made the crime and stuff go way down. But oh. then ask them about all the stabbings in Germany from refugees, ask them about what to do with immigrants here. 
you know, we haven't looked into their past or criminal histories. Yeah. What would they say about that? I guess it's just based. Should we put them in camps too, I, lefties? I guess since China is a communist country, then they think China is. But China is cool. Everything I see on TikTok where like people they are do have, going down like do weird green cool. pink forests in China. I've yeah. never seen anything they, like it. They in did my do life. some cool stuff. I mean, they did like kill all their landlords, which is pretty tight. That's cool. Yeah. Did they in China? They killed yeah, their landlords? Yeah, in like the 60s. I think it was Mao. Um, like if you owned like more than like five buildings, he's like, yeah, I work. work like cutting your head off huh. you like serve no like use to society interesting mm. okay yeah they killed like ten thousand landlords or something like that sounds mm-hmm. cool to me yeah so I, I can get down with that yeah china china sure. until, pretty cool unless me. i ever become a landlord and then i change my opinion but right and, and i think they're cool but if they ever fuck with japan if they if they ever <laughs> yeah. they ever yeah touch my little girl your dude, little girl the autist that will rise up if they so much as lay a finger mm-hmm. on japan who is our ally, by the way? Japan loves America. That is true. Yeah. They love America. They despite, yeah. Because they need us. We cocked them. Yeah, we cocked them. We buck broke Japan. <laughs> <laughs> we just dropped the biggest bombs of all time. Like, okay. put, them in, yeah. put them in camps. They go, it's okay. It's mm-hmm. okay. Do you want miso soup mm-hmm. with your charashi ball? Mm-hmm. Like, it's okay. Um, Mr. White Man. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. <yeah. laughs> And you're like, yeah, yeah, give us a bunch of those little umbrellas yeah. for free. We're going to put them in our drink. We'll take some of that fried chicken shrimp you got. <laughs> What'd you call it? Tem- and, temperament? And send a couple of your boys over here to flip stuff for me. Give me some that of I that. I want to eat. I want some shrimp temperature. Yeah, we're going to have some of your little tiny radios you make. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to be ordering a lot of those from now on. <laughs> I do. Calling yeah. it buck breaking is so funny to me. I, it's a very racist yeah. term, but I used it on Japan, so it's okay. Yeah. Oh, so here, Hopefully. Oh, here's your Shirley Temple. I'm so sorry. So, I thank you for killing my entire family <laughs> thank you. and burning my city down with, in five seconds. Yes. Right. Thank, thank you. you for actually committing way more murders <laughs> before the atomic bombs by just Attacking civilian cities that were made out of wood and lighting them on fire. Thank you for coming to our restaurant. My grandmother has fins. (laughs) Thank you. Thank you. You gave my grandmother uh, scales. She has snake snake skin. Thank you so much. Thank you for altering the conception of evil as we know it. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. You you turned my grandfather into a rival alien. Thank you. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, but, tough uh, stuff. But if they so much as I'm, I'm dead serious though. I'm gonna fly over to China. I'm gonna start fucking people up if they ever invade Japan. Oh yeah, I, it'll dude. be me. It'll, yeah, they be they think, they especially think if they've seen John Wick right. four. Well, if they if, fucking if, invade Taiwan, dude. I'll set up a GoFundMe for Taiwan, dude. <laughs> Okay, I'll treat them like I don't, a, I don't they, really give a shit about Taiwan. Me neither. I don't even know what they do. If they if they do invade, <laughs> I don't know. You know what? I, mean. I don't know. I literally don't care about a single place. This is how I us. think about Taiwan. It's too far south. I don't give a shit about things if it's too close yeah, to Antarctica. I don't you give you a shit. You treat it like yeah. it's Georgia or something. You're like too far south. I'm too far south. Yeah. I don't give a shit about things that are too far south. I don't give a shit about South Africa. I don't give a shit about like the, the Adelaide, Australia, and stuff. I care about you. Got to be more north than that. Why would I? Huh? None of them have created. I mean, England, we got some rock bands out of them. But other than that, what else do we need? They all came here. We yeah. got the Stones. We got the Beatles. They mm-hmm. all fucking came here. Yeah. We make everything. That's right. You got damn right. All the best, all the coolest things come from and, here. And hey, but sometimes we might need to use your country to shoot something. But then we're going to edit it over here. Like, we're going to shoot Lord of the Rings. New Zealand, uh, excuse right. me, we're going to use your land for the next uh, three years. We're gonna shoot something amazing, right. and then we're gonna come back. Here's the here's the deal, New Zealand. We're gonna use your country. We're gonna shoot these great movies. In exchange, we let Taika Waititi be annoying on TV <laughs> for like <laughs> eight years max, and everybody realizes yeah. he sucks. He's had his run now, mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. we're gonna let Taika Waititi pretend he's like David Bowie for some reason. <laughs> he's got a ring on a finger where you know he like sucked a dick and like gets his dick sucked, <laughs> <laughs> and he's like just all like cocky about it, about making like just shitty superhero movies, you know. What 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 did he do besides Jojo Rabbit again? He did uh, Hunt for the Wilder People was good. That was like one of his early it. movies. And like what we do in the shadows is like okay, but then he just started making like Thor movies and stuff. And it's just like yeah, I yeah, don't yeah. know. Shut up, you're not an artist. Yeah. You made Thor, <laughs> making a bunch of movies with guys with Alzheimer's. Yeah, a bunch of buff retards. Yeah, exactly. Would you guys fucking if I be- I just realized if I became president, I would I would start as many wars as I could. Like it sounds awesome, actually. I would start wars everywhere. I would start nuking countries. 
Yeah, it's, I go to war with everybody. It's actually. like the fun. It's like you, it's like you have an unlimited funding for the yeah. like the Pentagon and the military and stuff. You could go crazy, go I, nuts. I, yeah. I nuke like Antarctica, just like as like yeah. you know, nobody'd see it coming. I'd accidentally drop nukes in the ocean and shit and fuck <laughs> yeah. stuff up. Be like, oh, sorry, it was an accident. Right. And it slipped out of the plane. I would be like, my first act, I'm like, I'm gonna kill a million penguins right now. <laughs> I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do penguin Hiroshima yeah. right now. Yeah. I, I nuke Antarctica just on the off chance the thing actually lives there. Mm-hmm. A John Carpenter monster yeah, yeah. lives in Antarctica. I fucking nuke it immediately. Right. And then like 30 minutes later, they're like, uh, uh, Mr. President, Florida has sunk underwater. <laughs> You're like, good. I don't even care. I don't even give a shit. I don't even give a fuck. I'm the president. <laughs> yeah. I fucking I fucking nuke the rainforest. I don't give a shit. It's got to be quite a rush to be president and stay have a be a part of a false flag attack on your own country. That's got to be cool. Yeah, that's got to be awesome. Imagine yeah, being the president, being like, yeah, so the bomb they're in the towers. Uh-huh. Yeah, Sick. they dude, people have no clue what's about to happen yeah. tomorrow. I'm gonna have to do the best acting job of my life. Yeah, can you imagine Bush and Cheney like the day after nine eleven, like yeah. that night, just like playing like beer pong and like mm. a, in a bunker somewhere, just looking at each other like they're I think they're buying it. Yeah. They're like, dude, we fucking, we fucking, we fucking kick, kick ass. ass. Dude, we dude. did 9-11 so good, dude. Patriotism's at an all-time high, brother. <laughs> anyway, let's get these Muslims down to that, that island and torture them and shit. Sometimes you got to crack a few <laughs> 3,000 eggs. I kind of think they never talked about it after, but like, like right after it happened, they like walked past each other and they did that high five and then they like yeah. high five each other on the behind too, like boom, boom. Yeah. They, but they never spoke of it well, again. They did like a kid and play high five. Yeah. yeah. I don't think George had any clue what was going on, but Chaney's like, he's great. He's a puppy dog. He's right. just, he's perfect for me. Yeah. I don't think George knew anything. Yeah, it was him and Rumsfeld doing that. Yeah, high it was five. Cheney and Rumsfeld were the ones like, oh yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah. Hoorah. doing the doing the snap. Yeah, after the, after they, the they, were, they were doing this handshakes, <laughs> doing like Bash Brothers arms <laughs> together, <laughs> <laughs> chest bumps. <laughs> What did Henry Kissinger do that's so bad? I mean, while we're on the topic, uh, like, like, yeah, he killed he gave eight like, million Cambodians. Yeah, Cambodian yeah. people seven eyes and <laughs> yeah. stuff. But I've never heard anybody talk about how much they love Cambodia and Cambodians and stuff. Like, uh, you don't like donuts? <laughs> yeah, what's the matter with <laughs> they you? They invented donuts? Yeah. Okay, that's actually really fucked up he did that then. Yeah, if yeah. they had it, then it, I'd say, like, have at it. Think of it. Think of it like this. If there weren't Cambodians, there would be no Homer Simpson. 100%. What yeah. would he eat? Donuts are so American. And they were uh, they, these Cambodians, they opened up these donut shops in the 70s. Fuck yeah. Without donuts, I love there's no Homer Simpson, which means there's no no Homer Simpson means there's no family guy. There's no Peter Griffin. Mm-hmm. 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 There's probably may, may even there may be no South Park. I don't I don't want to think yeah. I don't want to think of a world with no family guy. <laughs> Frankly, I think it's disgusting. Yeah, dude. No, don't even joke about that. Mm-hmm. Don't, don't even, even fucking dude, joke. Don't even joke about that. There was a funny moment. <laughs> Where I was like, I was talking to my girlfriend's like dad, like I was with her whole family, and he's like, so he's, he's like a cool dude. He's like a cool dude, but he's like just an older guy, and he's like, he's like t- telling me about a scene from Family Guy. He's like drinking a scotch. He's like, so Peter comes in, and then her mom like came in like to to be like, did you want cookies? And I go, I go, Kathy, please. I'm Paul's telling me a story about Family Guy right now. <laughs> And in my head, that was the funniest thing. I've ever, like nobody caught what I was doing. Whatsoever. Yeah, no, of course none of them. And you're, you were like, "This is I'm killing it." Right 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 yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm like, I'm like, I'm, he's talking. He's telling me about Family Guy right now. Let's all let's all pay a little respect. <laughs> Did you crack? Hmm? Did you crack? Oh no, I, I like I like played it. it. Like I think he was literally like, "Thank you." <laughs> So anyway, he's riding a horse inside. Isn't that crazy? There's a chicken chasing him. <laughs> Uh, back in yeah. the during the good old days, when back in those days, I remember the most popular meme. There was a, <laughs> you saying the good old days with that hat on. It's yeah, like, it's not, it's not it a should great. be deemed a hate crime. It was yeah. 2006. The big meme was a squirrel holding a bunch of lightsabers. There and then there was a, the other meme was a cat, and it said I can has cheeseburger. And the funniest thing in the world was Peter Griffin fighting a chicken for four minutes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Man, mm-hmm. really great times. Great times. It was. God, if we could just go back. God. Yeah, if we if we if only we could get in Stewie's time machine, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> and go back. Yep. Then victory would surely be ours. <laughs> um Henry Kissinger, I, I gotta say, uh he ju- he literally just celebrated his one hundredth birthday. I saw that. Yeah. I don't think there's ever any greater evidence that there is no, God, no God or justice in the universe. Yeah, the guy's killing it. Mm-hmm. That Henry Kissinger through the seventies like fucked every A list like celebrity woman. 
looking like a Jewish Mr. Potato Head. Mm -hmm. And then he gets to live to be 100. There's no justice. Mm -hmm. There's no justice. So Henry Kissinger looks like the guy that set Hitler off. <laughs> like winded him up. He just looked right. at him. He's like, all right, we're going to kill them all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he was just on the bus and he goes, you know what? Ugh. I'm fucking done. <laughs> I wasn't going to do it, but fuck this guy, dude. It was like his, it was Hitler's Joker moment. True. Seeing Henry Kissinger, we yeah, like, all right, yeah. fuck it, I'm going Joker mode. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah, so I'm going to show them all. Seeing Henry Kissinger at 11 years old. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Henry Kissinger at 11 just being like, Mommy, I would like a popsicle. <laughs> I'm Henry. So what were you saying earlier, Ben? You don't know why he gets so much shit? Cause he just yeah, well, he, the, oh. so you tell me... First of all, where's Cambodia? Second off, well, I, how did he kill listen, all of them? I don't know. Cambodia. It's called a mom's donuts on Sunset. <laughs> you mm -hmm. think I know where Cambodia is? Where the fuck is it? I go to place all the time. They tell me they're pla where they're from. I go, that's great. I love you. You're so great. But I'm, I don't know. I don't, I, don't, I don't care. Don't tell them. I don't like when they tell me. I go, don't tell me. <laughs> <laughs> their history, don't like their country. Me. Just don't even let me know. Uh, yeah. You're here now. Mm. That, yeah, it's the ultimate, like, you're in the Uber and you're like, you make the mistake of being like, oh, that's great. So where are you from? He goes, oh, yeah, so there was a big elephant general that, like, massacred my whole family in mm. my village. <laughs> you go, oh, man, well, you're here now. So. I go, oh, man, well, have yeah. you been to the AMC Burbank? Yeah. That's I feel like, great. I feel like Tony. I'm like, well, you got to get over it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> When people are like, you know, I'm from Thailand or whatever, I'm like, yeah, we have Thai town. Say so you're mm -hmm. from there. Yes. Yeah, then you people live know in... what you're talking oh, about. Oh, were you born at Jitlada? <laughs> <laughs> great, great restaurant. Great restaurant. restaurant. Yeah, Matt Groening's favorite. Mm -hmm. He's a great big fat Vietnamese guy. Vietnamese people, I go, I go, like, what are you from, Pho 87 or Pho 69? <laughs> Pho 43? Which one? The one in El Monte or the <laughs> one in Temple City? Yeah. <laughs> He's like, oh, actually, I was born in America. You go, Silver Lake Ramen. I go, Silver Lake Ramen. Mm -hmm. then. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Silver Lake Ramen. Yeah. So he blew up a bunch of guys because they were making donuts. I don't know. What How did we make money off that? Didn't didn't did we own donuts after that? Like we got Listen, the patents. I don't actually know why, but it had something to do with you know I don't know imperialism or something. Are Cambodians white? No, they're uh, they're. I literally almost said they're Chinese, and I wasn't. <laughs> I wasn't even gonna do it. That, which really just showed we know we know we're very ignorant. <laughs> no, no, I was no, no. Chase was, Cambodians are Filipino. <laughs> oh, <laughs> crazy. God damn it. No, it's a, it's a type of Asian Cambodian. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Is it islands? They're just like bigger foreheaded Chinese people. It's <laughs> oh, no, yeah. Jesus Christ. No. No, no. In my I, when I've seen them, they have bigger foreheads. I think they're French. Oh, really? I think they're Good like for them. I think they're like Creole Asians. Good for them. Okay, so let's move down the list because apparently we all hate. <laughs> Jace is just like no, I'm... man. I'm Jace is like I. You know, I read way too much for this no, shit. We need to teach people. <laughs> We need to teach people about the world yeah, so and the way it is, works. Lemon parties we're, for the people. We're supposed to hate Henry Kissinger, so he blew up a bunch of guys making donuts on an island. He somewhere. hated fucking frogs. Mm -hmm. He hated these French Asians. Yeah, he hated bear claws. Can you look this up? Actually, are Cambodians? I think there's like a French. I think you think. I think you're thinking of Vietnam. Vietnam, Vietnam? was invaded by the French, and we oh, took that yeah. over by the yeah, French afterwards. You're right. Well, there's a Cambodian lady that works at the donut shop down the street from me that I love. She's a great lady, and I support her a lot. I go there all the time. And she's like half French, so I guess I just I assume that's that. probably we're gonna have her on the podcast. We're gonna to get her on here to yeah. tell us what we're, what, what no, she is. No, but I mean that, that literally is like you will hear about like stuff like Nixon like bombed all of Cambodia. It's like why? It's like I mean, he was just bored. <laughs> He's kind of you know Frost. David Frost <laughs> pissed him off and <laughs> pissed him the fuck pissed off. Pissed him the fuck off, dude. Yeah, like Richard Nixon was on his like fucking Limp biscuit shit, <laughs> and he goes, "I'm just gonna I'm gonna break stuff." <laughs> oh, so Cambodia is like Vietnam. It's in. Oh, this is the bullshit. This is Indochina. I know. Oh, what this that's a great is. suit place at the <laughs> at the Americana. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Isn't there actually a place called Indochina, like in the Americana? Yeah, it's a suit. Place. It's literally they, oh, okay. they give custom suits. Okay, great. So that's what he bombed a suit. He hated. <laughs> they, they were expensive suits, and so he, uh, killed, he killed them all. Says here. <laughs> Says here, experts say Kissinger bears significant responsibility for attacks in Cambodia that killed as many as 150,000 civilians, six times more non-combatants well, yeah. than the United States has killed in airstrikes since 9-11. Keyword, civilians. So mm -hmm. that's fair game. <laughs> <laughs> 
That's like pawns in chess. We all know that. It's not a horse. It's not a rook. Why do they call them casualties? <laughs> it's a casual thing. I'm. Uh, oh, here we go. The backstory behind Cambodian owned donut shops. Here we go, Devin. Let's see if they. Ooh, yeah, no, it's this guy he came here. I watched a thing called yeah, Donut it was one, King. There's a very yeah. good documentary good about doc. it. Um, yeah. Fuck you. A guy named Hanson Gregory, an American, invented the first ring shaped donut in 1847. Oh, okay. Can we give other people anything? <laughs> yeah, come on, Jesus! I'm going to take a piss. Right. Continue yeah. shitting on Asians. We, we got this. We got. This. <laughs> Jace, I think we got it. We got it from like here, we buddy. Like we need you on the show. So anyway, they're Chinese people. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to type in what bad what bad things did, did Henry Kissinger <laughs> type do? Type in type in what bad things did Henry? Because apparently, according to everybody, this guy's Hitler. Now, Vietnam was bad. Yeah. But it was also so long ago. I know. We're talking the 70s here. I know. We're, this is before Taxi Driver even came out. People, it was a different time. People complain about Vietnam. I go, oh, hooey. <laughs> it's a bunch of hullabaloo. I mean, what? You don't see our veterans? We suffered more. Well, it says here, in the words of Christopher Hitchens, Kissinger deserves prosecution for war crimes, for crimes against humanity, and for offenses against common or customary or international law, including conspiracy to con commit murder, kidnap, and torture. I like how you had to turn into an Asian stereotype <laughs> to read. <laughs> oh, and he further calls him a stupendous liar with a remarkable memory. So, Jess, apparently Henry Kissinger committed many crimes against humanity. What? Well, what? That's true. How come he's uh, he's not in prison? He's fine. If that's true. Yeah, yeah. If he's such a bad guy, then why is he walking around free? Why is he fucking killing Why is he it? a free man? Yeah. So he's obviously not. Next. Next. I can literally go on Postmates right now and it's like, do you want the new cheeseburger by Kissinger? Mm-hmm. Get it delivered to you right now. He's, he has his own pop-up kitchen. It's fine. Oh, he's like Mr. Beast. <laughs> yeah, he sells, he sells Bon Mies. I'm getting a Kissinger burger. <laughs> I'm getting us a couple. They're very good. Uh, but this is that would be funny if you had a pop up kitchen for bar. <laughs> right. Yeah. Well, he did Cambodia. No, I, mean, I think we're already still. Well, is Cambo Cambodia is different, right? And then a bon me. Yeah, that's Vietnam. What is Cambodia's food? Uh, I think it's like bowls of stuff. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. It's bowls. Of broth. I think they did gotcha. udon noodles actually. Do they I do? I, think, I don't think they that's... do the thick noodles. No, I think no. it's Japan. Mm -hmm. They do the noodles you eat with your hands. Look up Cambodian. They don't food. have trees there, so they can't have chopsticks. Look up Cambodian food. They only have uh, twigs. I know you just learned about Peruvians. And this is a lot for you. What is Cambodian food? It is funny. I can name like the types of food certain birds eat, I but like, I have no idea what yeah, Cambodian yeah. food is. I think it's like it's a it's a type of Chinese food. They really, you know, what would be would be great if we got you like those birding books, but just for different types of people. <laughs> yeah, I really I'm think staring that would at be, them with binoculars. Yeah, yeah, you're staring with binoculars, and then you look at your book, and you're like, you're like, oh, that's a late ocean. Okay. And it goes. It says here they're in Southeast Asia. <laughs> And th they have a lot of jungle land. That's interesting. So I raised my binoculars in the inner city, and I'm like, okay, mm -hmm. so black American. I'm like, it says here they're an invasive species. Okay. Oh I'm God. like, who the fuck wrote this? Okay, <laughs> okay yeah. Yeah, you saved okay, it there, all but right, still. Thank, all right, thank you. Thank you for saving it, but Jesus holy Christ. shit. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's why you hate crows so much. <laughs> I hate ravens, cocksucker. Ravens, ravens. Do you know about this? Ravens can imitate human speech. Yeah, I think I heard something about that. It's terrifying. Mm -hmm. it you don't like you don't horrifying. like ravens because of Ray Lewis. <laughs> You're all pissed at them. <laughs> okay. Before we go down the rabbit hole of ravens and their uh sophisticated vocal uh what is Cambodian food? Mm. Fish or mock? It says like a fish dish. It says it's steamed coconut fish and banana leaves. That sounds pretty good. All right. Yeah. So it's like 
Sounds like curries and with fish. It sounds great. It's the same shit. This is uh, oh, at a certain point, all, all those countries near each other. And I once again, I have no clue where Cambodia is, but all, uh, I'm assuming it's near Vietnam and whatever. Mm-hmm. They all have like the. It's like how like people go, no, no, like they get really offended. Like I used to work in kitchens all the time, and I'd be like, wait, like Mexican, and they'd be like, Salvador, like shut. And I'm yeah, like, yeah. well, what's the difference besides like mm-hmm. peas and carrots in your rice? Mm-hmm. I'm like, right. what, what really is going? I mean, on people here? do people do that literally with like, no, no, that's Texas barbecue. I'm talking about South Carolina barbecue. Exactly. That's so that's a vinegar based fry yeah, partner. Yeah. yeah, it's pretty much that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I will say this. There's a reason we don't know about Cambodian food. It's because it stinks. Let's let's be honest. That's why they make donuts. It stinks. It stinks. Because right here I got second dish down the line. Never seen this on a menu. Sam Lor Machu Tray, which is sweet and sour soup with fish. Oh man. We're not a soup country, folks. I think that we never just... have been. We never will be. Yeah. We're, we're not into fish soup. No, fish soup stinks. Next, right down the list, we got stir fried lemongrass beef. All right, that, that actually sounds pretty decent. But that's yeah. like lemongrass is very Vietnamese, mm-hmm. so they're very similar to Vietnamese. It sounds like uh, their Cambodian sausage apparently is very popular. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, I mean that's it. I, I'm not seeing anything here. Like I'm looking at the names, right? Right. Because here we know how to say Pad Siu, Pad Ki Mao, Pad Thai, Pad Thai. We know all these these words, these phrases. Uh, I mean, I'm, I mean, well, I that's got, Thai. I got nothing here. You got anything there? You, you recognize Twaco, it? Cambodian sausage, Nam Ban Chak, Khmer hey. noodles, Bai Sak Kruk, ki- grilled pork and broken rice. You sound like you're doing that um, when that, that Asian plane crashed and that news reporter read the <laughs> We Too Low, Something Wong. We Too <laughs> Do you holy, remember that? Yeah, holy fuck. Holy fuck, yeah. Yeah, okay, their number, their second best dish is literally a giant fish head in soup. Yeah, yeah well, that's I mean, what I'm saying. Yeah, it's yeah. like it stinks. It stinks. Nobody wants it. Mm-hmm. That's why they make donuts. Yeah, they eat like the, they eat the stuff that like James from James and the Giant Peach had to eat. <laughs> <laughs> Gru- like gruel? Mm-hmm. Their number, they, yeah, they're big, not going to open up a gruel store. Two fish heads on a plate, you know? Yeah. Although... When mush is done right, it tastes really good. Mush? Well, yeah, mush. I've always you, wanted to... You guys know to, what mush is, yeah. Right? yeah. Oh, mushy food. Mushy yeah, food, But, yeah. like, you call it mush, like, gruel. Like, just it's just... It's like white slop. Mushy food's great. It just doesn't look aesthetically pleasing. But, like, that's... I, I, I've heard Somalian food or, like, Ethiopian food's great. I just don't want to try it because it comes with this bread that looks like a burn victim's <laughs> skin. <laughs> and I just... I don't know. And you're supposed to eat with that, you know? And I don't know. It just... Mm. It's, it's aesthetically yeah. off-putting. The one me. that's the weirdest is, is the African food where it's, like, the pot of, like, hot food and then the and then the wet ball of dough, you have to like slap. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? You like slap it and then you slap the food and slap the ball and then you eat it. Yeah. I don't know what the hell that is. Yeah. That sounds nuts. I think it's from like Ghana or something. That sounds fucking yeah. nuts. <laughs> if you go to an authentic eat the open place, do they. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. Very good, man. Yeah. As you wear your U.S. Open gear, fucking like, good God. Right. There's a little meter on the wall that says racism, and it's just breaking like a thermometer in a cartoon. Yeah. Uh, I have man. heard Ethiopian food's legitimately great. Though. Yeah. You're like Calvin Cambodia over here. <laughs> Oh, uh, you, said, you guys get so uncomfortable. Meanwhile, you'll watch South Park. You're fine with like the starving Marvin jokes and everything. It's fine. <laughs> I'm way more edgy than you guys. You, you can't keep up, but right. it's fine. I'm a, everybody says I'm the edgiest member of the podcast. I'm going to get a leather jacket and, yeah. and stuff. Ben's, yeah, Ben starts wearing shades and smoking cigarettes <laughs> on the pod. <laughs> and he go, he's just like smoking. He goes, Chinese people, I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, dude, this is so badass and fucking edgy, dude. Uh, we do need to, uh, we should end the show soon, but uh, closing thoughts on potentially reaching out to Anthony Camilla to do Lemon Party. Would you guys have him on? Hmm. What are you guys thinking? Yeah. Yeah, me too. You want me to reach out to him? Yeah, sure. Well, I mean, we'll Listen, just, you know, it's I can just pretend edited. I've never seen or heard the other things he's done. Mm-hmm. You, and hopefully, you, well, he's just, like, our hopefully, friend Devin's a huge fan of you. He went into a coma in 2007. <laughs> yeah, I just he forgot. just came out. I just got right. out. I don't know what happened. I right. said, they fired you. <laughs> For what? For what? What did you do? You're like, and 
<laughs> he starts talking about how Pat- when he's like, you know, when Patrice died, you're like, he what? I go, what the hell? <laughs> he was on. <laughs> he's forty years young. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, yeah. Ultimately, I just I would love to meet him. I don't want to talk to him about. I don't want to have this episode with him. Oh no 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 no. Oh no. Oh no 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 no. No, if me and Anthony get on the train, we're gonna leave you two behind real quick. If you and Anthony get on the train, it's stopping at Doc. Yeah. Yeah. He sits down in the chair. He's like, by the way, love that hat. Yeah. You guys are gonna get on top of each other. He's gonna get on your shoulders. You guys are gonna put a big trench coat on and go to a rally. Yeah, one 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 adult ticket for Charlottesville, uh. please. <laughs> yeah, just that hurts trying to rent some fucking Challenger. <laughs> oh god, that's so just funny. Just the fucking the big rascals. <laughs> oh man, uh, God, that's the one thing I am. I'm very thankful for Elon because I didn't think I would see the most insane tweets. From him, but it's nice to see everybody back on Twitter and just yeah. really yeah. going to I town. I mean, Twitter is just like time. it's beheading videos and porn now. That's mm-hmm. all it is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sometimes in the same video. Mm-hmm. I tried to find like a meme just to like send somebody that I remembered, and I like Googled. I Googled like um, you know, like James Harden or something, and it was just like a, it was like porn and like yeah, that video of the donkey getting hit by a truck. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm like, this is not even related to James Harden <laughs> whatsoever. He also said he was gonna get like all bots off, and he's deleting all the bots. There's more bots than fucking ever. Mm-hmm. Like under comments, it's just or under tweets, it's just tons of like yeah. obviously fake people. That's why you know that's why they call him Elmo because it's a goddamn yeah. Sesame Street. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's a, his company is ran by a bunch of goddamn children. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you suck so much ass. <laughs> yeah, I, ca- I, call, I call him Elmo because he's got the man's hand up his ass. That's right. <sighs> Running in a damn Sesame Street over the there. Goddamn uh, Sesame Street over here. Bunch of goddamn Muppet babies. <laughs> goddamn Muppet babies. <sighs> yep. Thank you.